Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning my loves, welcome. Let's get into your monthly readings. Let's see what you can expect for the month of August for all zodiac signs. Let's begin here. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified if the most recent video is going up. For those of you guys returning, welcome back, my loves. Let's see what you can expect for this month of August for all zodiac signs. I call upon all my wise and loving spirit guides, spirits of light and love, ascended master, spirits of divination. Please step forward. Allow me to see here, sense beyond, receive the messages loud and clearly. San Simón, te pido que estés aquí presente, que seas tú quien me ilumine, permíteme ver claramente y concisamente los mensajes para todos los suscriptores, for all the subscribers. We're going to begin here with Leo, as it is Leo season. Let's get into it. Let's see what we can expect for the month of August 2024. If you guys are interested in any of the services that we provide, you can click the description box below. Be able to find all of our links on there. If you guys don't follow me on Snapchat and Instagram, I highly encourage you guys to do so. All right, let's see what's going on with Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of July. Uh, sorry, not July, for the month of August 2024. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2024. What is unfolding for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? All right, here we go. Leo, let's see what you guys can expect. Brightest of blessings for those of you guys that are experiencing a birthday. All right, we have the Hierophant, the Star, Queen of Wands, the Devil, the Wheel of Fortune, the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Swords, Knight of Cups, and the Five of Wands. Okay. All right. Leo, I see you guys really going into the month of August extremely empowered. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you guys are kind of over the drama and the toxicity. This could be in regards to a relationship or in connection with family dynamic. There is an understanding here. I feel like both of, both of you guys, I feel like you guys are stepping into awareness and you're realizing certain toxic traits that you're not going to excuse anymore on people's behavior or people's behaviors that are toxic. Um, I feel that this is going to be the major momentum that you're picking up um, because they are showing me almost like the realizing of maybe at some point I did excuse certain people's behaviors, their way of being or, you know, gossip, all of that shit. And you're realizing now that it's bringing or it's disturbing your peace and you're walking away from that. I feel that the more you do this, the more empowered you're going to become because it does have a lot to do with your state of mind, um, what we experience on everyday basis. So I feel like you're choosing your happiness. You're choosing what's right for you, what makes sense to you and what doesn't make sense to you anymore. You're not making excuses no matter how much you care for them or no matter how much you love them. This is, again family dynamic, or this could be in a relationship itself. It's you standing up for yourself. It's you, um, like I said, no longer allowing people to lead you blindly. You know what I mean? You're you're standing your ground and, and you're speaking up. I see you guys very empowered for the month of August. I see you guys not just empowered, but I feel like you guys are, even if need be, to be cutthroat, um, I feel like you guys are definitely going to be doing that for this month. And for a lot of you guys, you're going to start to notice that that shift in energy starts to change your circumstances, starts to change the dynamic. For some of you guys, it could be that even the toxicity of family and relatives has affected your relationships or your partnerships. And it's like at this point, you're being unapologetic about choosing your happiness and by doing that, you're cutting out people that creating distance, basically, for people that are making it very difficult for you. And by you doing this, what's going to happen is that you're starting to experience really what makes sense to you, what resonates, what brings to you peace of mind and tranquility. For some of you guys, I see you guys cutting out partnerships or relationships that are toxic. Um, 
making room for new beginnings, making room for the commitment that you're looking for, for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that are single, if you've been dealing with a fuck with buddy situation or a fuck girl situation, um, or fuck boy dealing with the fuck boy. Um, I see you guys walking away from that. I see you guys no longer making excuses. It's like, you're no longer delusional about being hopeful. You're seeing things for what they really are. And you're walking away from anything that's keeping you from your tranquility, your peace of mind. Um, you're choosing your happiness. And in doing this, you're going to start to notice that things start to line up for you in a very positive way. So, um, amazing energy good for you leo definitely encourage you guys to always choose your happiness regardless if it makes other people unhappy and that's the thing a lot of the times when we start to create boundaries when we start to not deal with bullshit it's going to make certain people around us uncomfortable because they're not used to you choosing yourself or putting yourself first um so even if that means that it makes others uncomfortable or even if it means that certain connections are going to break because you're choosing your sanity and your peace of mind, it is worth it in the end because if all they're bringing to you is chaos, you don't need that in your life, Leo. So good for you. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2024. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, so for some of you guys, there is communication or some type of clarity that's coming to you. You may be dealing with a situation where you feel a bit uncertain or you feel like you don't have much clarity in regards to situation, but that's going to be unfolding for you guys for the month of August. I put the card back in the deck. Let's see what's unfolding for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, Virgo, let's see what you can expect for this month of August. All right, we have the world card here, the four of wands, the knight of wands, the five of wands, the moon, the seven of pentacles, two of wands, seven of cups, and the queen of pentacles. Wow, okay. All right, uh, Virgo, you guys are closing cycles. And for some of you guys, if you were dealing with a situation where there was a lot of uncertainty or perhaps... The person that you were dealing with wasn't necessarily giving you what you wanted, whether it was a commitment or whether it was a title. Um, you could have been dealing with someone that had commitment issues. That's no longer going to be the case. For some of you guys, there's communication that opens up. Uh, if you're no longer in contact with this person, this person will be reaching out to you in the month of August. I feel that what was holding them back was their ego and their pride or perhaps certain things that they were keeping hidden from you. However, I feel like they're fessing up they're either coming clean or professing feelings for you that they tried to negate or they tried to ignore or they tried to because there is a fear of commitment and they understood that this relationship can only progress and the only way to progress is to something about commitment, something about making it official or taking it to the next level. I feel this person wasn't ready. But recently something happened or they came to the realization that, you know what, I do have feelings for Virgo. And before they completely push me out of their life, I'm coming back and I'm giving them um, proof of my love or my commitment to them. So if you guys are dealing with the situation, like I said, where you feel like there is a lot of uncertainty, I feel you're getting clarity this month, Virgo. Uh, for a lot of you guys, it is someone that you were either invested in or someone you were dating that perhaps didn't really have a title. I feel like they're coming back around because they're realizing something about you changed. It could have been your boundaries. It could have been that you pulled away. It could have been that they thought you were always going to be there. And then I don't know if it's because they've been seeing you thriving or because they've been seeing you that you're not just going to put yourself on the sidelines. Um, I feel they're coming back around and they're willing to step up where they felt confusion. They understand now that it's you who they want and they're wanting to bring to you that stability. And also there is fear of losing you. So again, uh, don't be surprised if this month uh, for you singles out there, if you're not dealing with anyone, I feel like someone's coming back around. It could have been someone you were talking to or dealing with in the past that maybe it didn't take flight. However, I feel like they're coming back around and they're going to go hard for you, Virgo. I feel like something happened in, in their 
current situation and it's not about dealing with other people i feel like it has more to do with the realization that oh shit i do have feelings for virgo and i'm not willing to jeopardize that or i'm not willing to lose them because i felt uncertain maybe there's some type of fear about commitment um but i feel like they're willing to make the jump and the plunge at this point they're rather make themselves vulnerable and hurt in the process than to lose you um, I feel like that's something they're definitely, it's weighing really heavy on their mind. So again, I feel like this month you're getting clarity about a situation that you've been wanting to, you know, know exactly what's going on or knowing exactly, do I move on from this? And I feel like you guys are not done with that. So go back to that. <laughs> All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August, 2024. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you guys get notified of the most recent videos going on. Let's see what's going on with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2024. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go, Libra. Let's see what's going on with you guys. All right, Libra. Ace of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Strength card, two of cups, nine of cups, eight of pentacles. Wow. Queen of pentacles, three of pentacles, and the ten of wands. All right, Libra. You guys are definitely having more communication this month. Um, for some of you guys, if you were dealing with the situation that you were unsure where this was going, or if you guys have been maintaining a relationship that is purely based on physical, or at least they made you feel that way, I feel this month of August, they will be opening up to you. They will become emotionally available. If you felt like you were dealing with someone and they mentioned or let you know that their work, you know, it's been exhausting or they've been working a lot or they have a lot of things going on in their life and you were doubtful about it, they're telling you that, yes, this person is fixated in stabilizing their financial situation. Um could be dealing with someone that perhaps was dealing with a lot of like uh, bills or uh, maybe they just had a lot of responsibilities where they couldn't really focus in a relationship. I feel like that's turning around. They're coming back around and really wanting to put effort and energy towards this connection. The fact that you guys have king and queen here is indicating to me of a soul type of connection. For some of you guys, you will, for those of you guys that are single, I feel like the month of August is going to be very prosperous for you when it comes to connecting with relationships and partnerships. I do see for some of you guys, there's a connection that's going to be unfolding. And for some, it could be that you meet this person while at work or someone that is in the same career field as you. Um, and for others of you, it could be that you're introduced to someone uh, through friends. However, I feel like this person is, it's a, a very amazing match here. Um, it is a person that does work a lot though. So if at some point you feel like this connection is going great and then all of a sudden it kind of slows down, just be patient because I feel like this person does have goals and aspirations that they're trying to achieve. Now, if this is you, Libra, that you are fixated right now and stabilizing your finances, what they're telling you is even if you feel like at this point in time, things are really difficult and you're almost at the pisk of like giving up. They're telling you don't give up. Things are going to start to align for you in a very positive way where you're going to have more than enough opportunities to stabilize or increase your finances. So uh, a lot of momentum when it comes to finances and career for you guys as well as love. So good for you, Libra. All right, let's see what's going on here with Scorpio, let's see what's going on with Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August, 2024. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August, 2024. We have the full card here, New Beginnings. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August, 2024. Let's see what's going on with my Scorpios. All right. Let's see what's going on. We have the Ten of Cups, we have the Queen of Wands, Seven of Cups, Four of Swords, Three of Wands, the Chariot, the Empress, 
the magician, ten of pentacles, wow, and the page of swords, okay, so, Scorpio, what I'm seeing here is what you've been hoping for or what you've been wanting for a very long time is unfolding for you. Now, one thing I'm hearing is try the best you can to get out of your own way. If you're dealing with a situation or a relationship or some type, some type of connection where you felt like there is a bit of distancing or like they're pulling away, your obsession to overthink and overanalyze and critique every little thing that you did is what's creating a lot of blockages for you. So you got to get out of your own way. Put your energy and effort towards other things and you will start to see that there's no more resistance in that connection. Now for others of you, I feel like there's revelations that are happening with the people around you. So for some of you guys, I see you guys like there is a thing as being blinded by love. So sometimes we make excuses for people's behaviors because we care for them and because, you know, we love them. It's our family members. It's our partner, whatever. I feel like there are revelations that are coming to you where you're in the month of August. You're going to be seeing people for who they really are. Pay attention to that, Scorpio, because this is the universe way of letting you know you've outgrown certain connections and friendships, even relationships. Okay. Um, because I'm seeing a revelation in regards to someone that's brought either a lot of confusion or a lot of chaotic energy around you. And it's almost like you kept excusing their behavior because of the love that you have for them, or you kept excusing their behavior because you didn't really believe that they were like that type of person. And yes, this person has traumas for sure. And they need to heal that aspect to themselves. But at this point, you're choosing you're no longer going to be dealing with that type of drama. So for some of you guys, it's pulling away from family or relatives that are just creating a lot of toxicity around you. Um, the positive in this is that keeping yourself surrounded by positive energy or keeping yourself surrounded by those that have the same mentality or perhaps the same aspirations and goals as you do is going to benefit you because it's going to realign you to those things that you're wanting to make happen and everything starts to align for you in a very positive way if you were dealing with the situation where you felt like there was uncertainty because this person was you know um playing hard to get it's not that they're playing hard to get it's that this person has been uh having options and perhaps that's the reason why they pulled away from you however take it as a sign from the universe telling you that person is not worthy of you you have the three of wands, the chariot, and the empress card. You are the price here, Scorpio. Know your worth and walk away from anything that is breadcrumbing you or playing a certain violin with you. You know what I mean? Like, keep it pushing because that's just going to make room for you to get towards a person or bring to you a person that is worthy of your love and that is going to be able to match your loyalty and your adoration is what i'm hearing okay so stay away from anything that is no longer serving you or anything that's creating a lot of chaos in your life and for some of you guys this is in regards to family dynamics all right moving on here let's see what's going on with sagittarius sagittarius sun moon rising venus let's see what's going on with sagittarius sun moon rising venus for the month of august 2024 sagittarius sun moon rising venus oh we have cards flying out. Give me one second. All right, it was a lot of cards, so I'm going to just put them back in the deck. They must come out, they will show up. Okay, here we go. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2024. Let's see what's going on with Saggies. One more shuffle. Thank you. All right, let's see what's going on, Sagittarius. What's going on with you guys? All right, we have the Eight of Wands, the Two of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Six of Cups, Knight of Wands, Seven of Wands, the Sun, Three of Cups, Four of Cups, and the Emperor. 
All right, Sagittarius. Okay, so what I'm seeing here for some of you guys, there is communication that's going to be opening up for this month for you guys. It could be in connection to a relationship or some type of partnership where perhaps you guys are blocked or they blocked you or maybe there was no communication. I feel this, this person's coming back around. I do want to note we are going into the Mercury retrograde, so it is bringing to us people that are coming back around. I don't want you to take this as a positive sign, Sagittarius, because what I'm seeing is this person's coming back around. And the reason why they're coming back around is the simple fact that they feel like you're not accessible to them. The moment you become accessible to them, they're going to continue playing mind games, okay? Three of Cups and the Four of Cups. It, this is a person that is only trying to basically see if they still can get ahead of you, meaning if they have a one or an upper hand on you. Uh, this is a person that has a tendency of giving you hot and cold, and this is a person also that for some of you guys, you keep allowing them to come back into your life. So again, what they're telling you here with the Emperor card is, you need structure, Sagittarius, when it comes to your boundaries, when it comes to connections and relationships, okay? Choosing yourself is only going to align you to the type of energy that you're wanting to draw in, which is someone that knows exactly what it is that you want and that is going to give you the type of commitment or the type of connection and relationship that you want, which is reciprocation, right? I'm assuming for most of you. So what they're telling you here is you need to protect yourself. Don't see it as this person's coming back around because they love me. They're coming back around because they want to reignite that connection because they want to see if they can still come back into your life. So what they're telling you here is the moment you start to give them attention or the moment that you're quick to fall into their trap, they will put you in the situation where they're giving you hot and cold again because this person's being distracted and you are, think of it as, what's the word I'm looking for, um, a challenge. And once they are able to accomplish that challenge or overcome um, you giving them the cold shoulder, it's like that's how quickly they're going to be losing interest. So it's important for a lot of you Sagittarians this month. When it comes to friendships, relationships, or partnerships, um, it is important for you guys to create boundaries. It's going to be crucial for this month. This is not just in relationships. This could be in connections with friends, with family. If you feel like they're overstepping or if you feel like they're pushing, you know, pushing you um, against the wall, you need, to, you need to speak up and you need to stand up for yourself. This is what's going to bring to you the balance and harmony that you so gratefully, passionately and intensely need at this point in your life, okay? So it's going to be very important for you guys to set those boundaries. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. All right, let's see what's going on with Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2024. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Capricorn, how are you guys doing? Have you guys been experiencing people from the past? Because I can tell you. Let me tell you. <laughs> people from the past are just popping out of the woodwork. It's crazy. All right. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is unfolding for them for this month of August 2024? Oh, we got cards flying out. Let's see. You have your card here, Capricorn. Very interesting. Okay. So you guys have your card, the double card here. You have the King of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. So for some of you guys, there is a turnaround of a situation that has to do with you and perhaps another air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Or this could be a person that you were dealing with that perhaps you're no longer dealing with. There is a situation turnaround. What I mean by that is a revisiting of that connection because someone's gotten their head straight. All right, I'm gonna put them back. Let's continue shuffling here. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I said, I said someone that is getting their head straight, but immediately they corrected me. Someone changed their mind about you, Capricorn. Let's see what's that 
what that's about. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. Oh. Someone's stubborn, Capricorn. Who are you dealing with? All right, we have the Sun card. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, the Star card. Wow, the High... Jesus. The High Priestess, the Hierophant, the High Priestess, Six of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, the Five, I see what's going on, and the Three of Swords. Okay, so what I'm seeing, Capricorn, you could have been dealing with someone that was either a commitment phobe or someone that made it clear they weren't looking for some type of commitment. However, something recently happened where their awareness of their feelings for you grew. And for some of you guys, I feel like either you're no longer dealing with them or you could potentially be dealing with someone new. And the fact that they know you're moving on is what's triggering the kind of like, I, you know, I'm losing Capricorn. I need to step up immediately. The star card and the six of swords, it's like the universe is aligning for you to bring to you the people that are meant for you. Five of Wands is people fighting for your attention and the Three of Pentacles, uh, sorry, the Three of Swords is this person is realizing that they don't want to lose you. This person is realizing that, oh, poor me, Capricorn is breaking my heart. Why? Because they thought you weren't going to move or they thought you weren't going to move on from them, actually. <laughs> yeah, the Sun, Hierophant, uh, Queen of Pentacles. They changed their mind about the refusal of a commitment or the refusal of wanting to settle because they see that you have options now, Capricorn, or they see that you're not complacent. If you're not giving me what I want, I'm, I'm going to keep it pushing. And it definitely create it steered their emotions. It created the realization of, I had Capricorn or I could have given them the commitment they wanted or I could have stepped up and put more effort but instead I chose not to do that because I didn't want to get hurt because I want them to take advantage of me and now I'm heartbroken because I see that Capricorn is moving on now this could be that they seen something on social media for others of you it could be that they just intuitively feel like you're moving on um, for some of you guys you pulled back you no longer chase them. You no longer communicate it with them. You were like giving them the cold shoulder. And this is them realizing, I want Capricorn. And I'm coming in with an offer. Powerful energy, you guys. And you guys have a lot of major arcanas, which indicates right now, destiny is taking hold of your life, Capricorn. Pay attention. Pay attention to the people that are coming in and coming out of your life, Capricorn. Do not hold on. Or do not try to hold on to those that are walking out. This is just the universe letting you know you need to keep it pushing. The people that come back around, whether it's people from the past, um, there are certain things that were left undone that need to be either done, right? Some type of closure. And for others of you, it's the revamping of that because they're coming back with an offer. So good luck to you guys. Cappies. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on here with Aquarius. Aquarius Sun Moon Raising Venus for the month of August 2024. Aquarius Sun Moon Raising Venus. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Aquarius Sun Moon Raising Venus. One more shuffle. Thank you, spirits. Okay, here we go. Sorry if you guys hear the doggies in the background. All right, Aquarius, you have the Tower, you have the Knight of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Temperance, Death, Eight of Swords, Five of Swords, King of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, Aquarians, you guys are going through a massive transformation. It's something I do not need to see the cards to know this, right? Astrologically, you guys are definitely going through massive transformations. Now, there is a situation that you've attached yourself to that you're refusing to let go and this situation or the circumstance is what's keeping you from growing. So for some of you guys, this could be a relationship. For others of you, it could be the refusal of pushing yourself and getting out of your comfort zone. 
this is what's creating a bit of stagnation. Now, whether you're ready or not, the universe is ready to come in and transform your life completely. For some of you guys, this transformation is in connection to certain things or people from the past. So for a lot of you guys, you are, it's almost like reconnecting for some of you guys, reconnecting to childhood memories or reconnecting or revisiting, or it could be physical visiting of like your childhood experiences or going to places that maybe as a child you would go. And this is creating, it's creating a lot of, like realizing where you're at at this point in your life, but it's also giving you the opportunity to heal those type of traumas that you're still carrying, Aquarius. For some of you guys, this could be a revisiting of a situation that came to an end uh, with someone from the past where you didn't really realize how much this person still has power, control over you. And I feel like you guys are experiencing an aha moment where you're realizing, you know what? I'm over this and I am completely letting go of this situation or completely letting go of this person or I'm no longer allowing them to have such control over me. For some of you guys, it could have been a person that really let you down. That is what created a lot of like boundaries within you or a lot of blockages, I should say. But I feel like you guys are being able to move on from that. You're taking your power. And that's the thing when it comes to Pluto when it touches our sign, it will completely transform us in some shape, way, or form, depending on where you have that in your birth chart, what aspect is doing in your birth chart. But at the same time, it empowers you because Pluto is the planet of power. It's the planet of money. So if right now, Aquarius, you guys are struggling when it comes to financial difficulties, it's because you need to step it up. You need to think outside the box or you need to really align yourself to what you're trying as an example what is it what's the type of amount that you're trying to make if what you do let's say in the career field you're wanting to make more than what your you know position or whatever gives you then what is it that you're doing to step up and take it to the next level um it's about getting out of your comfort zone so that you can truly benefit from the power that pluto's bringing to you now for others of you like i said if it if it's to do with relationships and partnerships, you're realizing certain traumas or certain things that you've been holding on to the past. Even if you've convinced yourself that you moved on from that, you're it's almost like you're being triggered and you're realizing, holy crap, you know, I became this type of way since that relationship ended or since I stopped messing with this person. Like it's almost a self actualization moment that you're having where you're realizing and you're working on healing that aspect because you're no longer wanting that person or that situation to have such control over you so a lot of empowerment energy for the month of august for you guys and again keep in mind there is a revisiting of childhood or a revisiting of the past so for some of you guys dealing with people from the past for others of you physically going to places where it meant something to you in childhood so all right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2024. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are my Pisces doing? Are you guys surviving? It's not easy surviving Saturn. <laughs> Take it from a Capricorn. <laughs> However, it will bless you by the time it gets out of your sign, Pisces, okay? All right, let's see what's going on with Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I did see the Three of Cups. For some of you guys, there's an unexpected celebration or a celebratory type of energy coming to you. It could be uh, positive news if you guys are waiting to hear back from someone or maybe a job, maybe a position. You're hearing back and getting clarity this month, and it's to the best of your interest, Pisces. All right, here we go, Pisces. Let's see what's going on with you guys, my lovelies. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. All right, we have the Lover's card. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Two of Swords. Page of Wands. Three of Pentacles. Six of Cups. And Knight of Cups. Wow. 
powerful energy here, Pisces. Okay, so there is this energy surrounding you for some of you guys is going to connect in many different aspects, but primarily, obviously, relationships, right? Um, and why do I say that? Because you have Saturn in your sign. So with the lover's card and the ace of cups, there could have been some type of connection or someone that you felt very drawn to or someone that you felt like a soul type of connection with. With the four of swords and the two of swords, that could have like been interrupted or you feel like there's no longer communication there. And the reason for this is because for a lot of you guys, there's a refusal of moving on. So some of you guys are holding on to the past. For others of you, you're holding on to a karmic. You're holding on to someone that is holding you back from really experiencing the type of connection that you are worthy of and you're deserving of. Um, there is a refusal of moving forward. There is a refusal. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's the fear. There is like fear attached to love. It could be for some of you guys feeling like if I walk away from this relationship that I'm currently at, am I never going to find my happiness? So I feel like you guys are settling and in the settling, it's bringing to you guys a lot of anxiousness because you're unhappy or because you don't feel the connection there. Um, and what spirit is telling you is that for some of you guys, the difficulty of letting go of this is because you are in fact dealing with the karmic, but I do see a new connection coming in. For those of you guys that are already connected with this person, I feel like as time progresses, you guys will reconnect or you guys will pick up the communication again. I feel like you guys are ending cycles or you're ending relationships that you've already outgrown or that are no longer helping you in your soul development. And though it may take you a little while to be able to see it for what it is, I see you guys being able to choose yourselves and moving forward. Um, so what I mean by that is moving forward, I feel like you guys, even if you're trying to work out a relationship or a partnership, where it's no longer what it was. I, I don't see you guys giving up. I see you guys like really trying, but you're going to get to the point of realizing that you can no longer continue maintaining or you can no longer continue filling the cup of someone and leaving yourself empty. So there is a desire there to choose your happiness. And for some of you guys, I see you guys running towards your happiness. So this could be at the expense of that connection or that relationship. What do I mean by this? I see opportunities coming to you that are going to kind of push you towards the path that you should be on. And it may come at the expense of a connection or a relationship, um, but you're choosing that opportunity or that. What's coming to mind is, as an example, you get a job offer, let's just say. And it is going to be a job offer that pays really good money and it's really beneficial for you, but there's going to be a commute. And if you are in a relationship that there's distance involved, for example, that partner may tell you, well, I don't want you to take it. And you're like, I'm being unapologetic about it and I'm choosing myself. I'm choosing this is beneficial for me and I'm choosing it. So I feel like those opportunities that are coming in for you, Pisces, they're coming in because they're trying to push you towards the path you should be on. So I see you guys realigning. There's a shift of mentality, a shift of energy that's happening where you're aligning yourself to your purpose. And again, this is all to do with Saturn energy. Remember, Saturn brings to us the difficulties, an example of relationships. Things are not working out. Saturn comes into your sign. It's going to trigger the fuck out of that relationship. Why? Because Saturn is there to tell you, all right, Pisces, you want to hold on to this shit where they're breadcrumbing you? I'm going to really test it so that you can see that when you really need them, they're not going to be there for you. Like you're, you want that hardcore proof. I'm going to prove it to you. That's what Saturn does. And if you're able to overcome it, then Saturn's going to bless you with strengthening of that connection. But for a lot of you guys, I see you guys really pulling away from what is no longer serving you to chase your happiness or to go towards what is beneficial for you. So positive energy here. If you're waiting to hear back, like I said, in regards to a job or some type of offering, some type of position, you're getting the answer this month and it's to your interest. So it's a definite yes, Pisces. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2024. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Aries. Oh, we have a card popping out. We have the Seven of Wands here. 
All right, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, let's see what's going on with Aries. My gods of war. All right, we have the Seven of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands. We have the ten, uh, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Chariot, Magician. Wow. <gasps> Holy crud. What the heck? Okay. Aries, you guys have been going through massive transformations too, right? <laughs> Chiron in your sign, man. All right. So the seven of wands and the knight of wands. You guys blocked or you created some type of boundary in regards to a connection for some of you guys could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I see Virgo here. Cancer. I see... Aries, I see Aquarius energy, I see Plutonian energy, Scorpio, um, Aries as well. Okay, whoever you're dealing with, I feel like you created some type of boundary because you didn't want to get invested or you didn't want to get emotionally invested. You didn't want the responsibility that comes with a connection or with a relationship. I think you guys have been going through this shit for a while. I've been seeing like y'all playing mind games and all that. But anyways, I feel like the month of August, you're realizing this is who I want or this is the relationship I want and you're going towards it. You're jumping like 100% and you're not giving, like you're being unapologetic about it. And this is going to massively transform your life, Aries. Now, if it's not a relationship, it could be a career, some type of opportunity that's opened up for you where you're jumping into it 100%, like wholeheartedly into it and it's going to be massively transfer transformational for you guys for some of you guys there is relocation involved for others of you it is really taking it to the next level and what they're telling you is whatever feels right to you right now Aries listen to your heart listen to your intuition I feel like your intuition and your heart are being aligned right now be like, let go of the fear, let go of the doubt and really jump into it. If you can see here at the bottom, three rows of nothing but major arcanas. You have the Hierophant, you have the Chariot and the Magician. You are being guided towards your destiny. You are the sole creator. Stop. The only boundaries that you can possibly or blockages that you can possibly be experiencing in the month of August is the boundaries you set for yourself or the blockages you set for yourself, I should say. You are creating the life that you want. You are worthy and deserving of, of, of it, Aries. Take full advantage of this. You guys are healing a lot of aspects about yourself and you're realizing, you know what? I do deserve that long-term relationship. I do deserve to be happy. I do deserve to be making the double or triple of what the hell I've been settling with. Like, I deserve all this greatness because I am great. And you're stepping into your power massively, Aries. Magician, the full card, the tower, the death card. There is major transformational energy here. For others of you who have been hoping or wanting this connection or whatever connection you're dealing with to Take it to the next level. It's happening in the month of August. For a lot of you guys, you're committing. For a lot of you guys, you're stepping forward and you're going into, I want to say, one of the most transformational experiences you've experienced, I want to say, in the past 10 years. For some of you guys, a little bit longer than that. But again, pay attention to the people that are coming in, in your life right now, Aries, and the people that are going out. The people that are going out are people that are no longer serving you. For some of you guys, these fears or these blockages have a lot to do with people that you've dealt with or that you still keep around you that are keeping you small. It's time to play big, Aries. If anything, take from this reading. Be daring this month. Put your heart and your intuition like to work. Listen to it and follow it because that's going to lead you to your massive transformation and happiness. This is like transformational energy, like I said. And I feel for a lot of you guys this month of August, you're going to start to experience a lot of massive breakthroughs where you're realizing you could have experienced this much sooner had you overcame or healed certain traumas. But right now the universe is stepping in, whether you're healed or not, it's bringing to you what you deserve, what you rightfully deserve, Aries. So positive, positive energy here, massive momentum. All right, moving on. 
let's see what's going on with Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2024. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2024. If you guys are interested in any of the services that we provide, whether it's spell work or personal readings, you can click the description box below and find all of our links on there. If you guys are interested in shadow work or the manifestation books, you can find that there as well. If you guys don't follow our other social medias, I definitely encourage you to do so. All right, here we go. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's unfolding for you guys for this month of August 2024. My lovely Taurus. Oh, let's see what's going on with you guys. All right, Taurus, you have the Empress card. Your energy here, Eight of Cups, Justice card. Woof, what the heck? The Death card, Knight of Wands, Three of Cups, the High Priestess, the Lovers, Knight of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. Okay, Taurus, there is massive momentum and expansion that's happening in your life. There's a lot of transformational energy, whether you're ready or not. I feel for some of you guys, you've been really putting in the work. If you've been working really hard or tirelessly at your work and you're wanting to be noticed, it's happening for you guys in the month of August. I see opportunities opening up. I see things lining up for you and there's much cause for celebration or celebratory type of energy. For some of you guys, you're achieving certain goals. However, what I am seeing here is if you guys have been putting in the work when it comes to like healing past traumas and aligning yourself to your desires, whether it's you know, financial stability, financial growth, or whether it's relationships and partnerships, I feel like the blockages that you've been like trying to overcome or trying to heal are finally being released this month for a lot of you guys. Pay attention to the people that are coming in right now. I feel like there is this energy of like new energy. There's newness that's coming to you. And for some of you guys, this month of August, there is a friend or some type of social outing where someone in your friend group or someone that is connected to you will be bringing to you. And I say unexpectedly because I feel like this person is just randomly introducing you to someone and then sparks fly. For others of you, this is a person that is going to play a very important role in your life. Um, and I feel like for a lot of you guys, if if anything, okay, <laughs> if you get spontaneously invited to an outing and it's like in the evening or at night, definitely go because I feel like this is going, this is like you getting out of your comfort zone and at the same time, it's putting you in the position in the circumstance and situation of meeting the person that is right for you. And for a lot of you guys, this is a person that is going to match your determination or your life aspirations and for others of you it's a person that's going to match your energy so what i mean by your energy it's a person that's coming in and you don't have to train them <laughs> it's a person that's going to already be a hard worker it's someone that's already making their own you know doing good and, and they're financially stable it is someone that knows exactly what it is that they want um for others of you i and this is for those of you guys that are in a connection or have been dealing with the situation, especially if you're dealing with the Libra. I feel like there is an ending cycle that's happening here. And do not be surprised if in the month of August, you find out that this person has been double dealing or has been stepping out of the relationship and dealing with someone else. I feel that this finally comes to a head. And the reason for this is because you guys have been dealing with a lot of uncertainty and for some of you guys, you've been hoping or praying to get some type of clarity to understand the situation a little bit deeper. I feel this is the universe stepping in and doing you a solid Taurus because it's showing you like it's bringing the mask off that person that you're dealing with and you're finally being able to see them in the true light and it is up to you what you decide to do with this. But my advice is walk away from anything that is not giving you exactly what you deserve. And I say exactly because do not, even if they meet, as an example, even if they meet all seven of the 10 qualities that you're asking for, but those three important ones and loyalty is one, you do not want to settle, babe. Right now is the time for you to step it up 
know exactly what it is that you deserve and be unapologetic about that because that's exactly what the universe is going to give to you if you learn to choose yourself if you learn to put yourself first taurus powerful energy here all right moving on here let's see what's going on with gemini's gemini's for the month of august 2024 Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2024. Let's see what's going on with my Gemini's. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2024. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, we got cards flying. Give me one second. Let me see. All right, my loves, I got the Judgment card and the King of Wands. We'll see if they come out again. We're going to put them back in the deck. Here we go. Gemini, I'm still shuffling, but I do want to put it out there. What I'm hearing is for some of you guys, make sure that you guys are checking your cars. So what I mean by that is make sure that your tires are not like running low or that they have enough air. Uh, if it's time to do that oil change, make that happen. Um, because I feel like the longer you procrastinate, the more car troubles you guys are going to be experiencing this month of August, that it may be more expensive because you let it fuck up. So just be mindful of that. Okay. All right. Gemini, sun, moon, rising Venus. Here we go. All right. Let's see what is going on with my Gemini's for this month of August. We have the Empress card, we have the Seven of Cups, the Ten of Cups, Chariot card here, Nine of Cups, Six of Cups, Nine of Swords, the World card, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Sun. Okay, Gemini, my lovely Geminis. <laughs> All right, keep in mind, we're going through a cycle of Mercury being in retrograde, right? And there's a stellium that's happening in your sign, Gemini. So what does this mean? This means when you have more than three planets in your sign, it's going to bring massive transformation and in different aspects. What I'm seeing here is for some of you guys, you could possibly be dealing with someone from the past um, and you're under the impression that they're single and it could be because you recently became single as well. However, I feel like this person is dealing with someone from the past and... So what I mean by that is what I'm seeing is you guys reconnecting with people from the past where you're under the impression that they're single like you are. They're not. They're still holding on to people from that they were previously dating or that they were previously, you know, being with. Um, I really want to highlight here for you guys. If you're dealing with someone that you fantasized about or that you idolized or that you always felt like this person was kind of out of your league, um, like it, it was just something over something with this person that you really idolized. Um, I feel like you are reconnecting with this person and you start to make plans or you start to think of the future don't do that and the reason i say this is because i feel like this person is a person that was very used to having options or having opportunities in the past however circumstances have changed and i feel that the only reason why they're giving you the attention or they're giving you the effort or they're actually trying is because it's not because life humbled them it's more so until they have other options. Do you get what I'm saying? So if you're dealing with someone that you were connected with in the past or that you had feelings for or that you just felt like they just like what's coming to mind is out of your league, but could be something that you thought doesn't mean that they are. It just means that you thought um, I feel like this person is dragging and carrying around a lot of baggage and you don't want to take on that baggage because you're clearing out cycles. You are becoming more empowered, Gemini, and I feel like the month of August and September is going to be very beneficial for you. But this is specifically for those of you guys that are single. You want to keep yourself and your options open. Do not be quick to settle because I feel like if you do... And especially if you're dealing with someone from the past, it's almost like they're kind of going to force you to settle with them. 
and this is not the person for you. It's like, think of it as like spirits are making you a solid right now and they're warning you like, pay attention how this person acts because I feel like they're going to try to have you settle with them because they can't find better at this point and they need someone to make their life more beneficial. Take that however you want to take it. But what they are telling you is whatever is from the past is from the past. Keep it pushing, Gemini, because you are stepping into your power. Like I said, this year is going to be massively transformational for you. I see a lot of new opportunities coming in. For you guys, you're stacking your money. For a lot of you guys, there's opportunities when it comes to career and finances where you're going to be making more money. Um, be wise about that. Be smart about your money. And like I said, open yourself up to the possibilities because I do see an authentic, true connection that's coming in for some of you guys. Uh, this could be through a, uh, through a Libra or a Taurus. For others of you, it could be an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, for others of you, it could be a Leo that's coming in or a Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, but again, keep in mind, if any of those signs are people from the past, do not. Like, be smart, okay? If you're a guy, like, be smart. You don't want them to, like, later on say that they got pregnant by you um, because that's their way of trying to, like, tie you down. If you're a girl, be smart about it. You don't want them to supposedly accidentally. You get what I'm saying? Because I feel like right now you're being tested. Have you learned your lessons? Have you outgrown things from the past? so that I can finally step in and bring to you the people, the situations and possibilities that you're worthy of, or are you gonna keep fucking up and making the same mistake? So be mindful of that, Gemini. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with you, Gem or not Gemini, sorry, Cancer. Let's see, for some of you Geminis, you're dealing with the Cancer. If the Cancer's from the past, it's a no-go. <laughs> All right, Cancer, let's see what's going on with you guys. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2024. Okay, we're going to keep these. All right, Cancer. Let's see what's going on with you guys, my lovelies. You have the Devil card. Oof, Justice. Eight of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Ten of Cups, Star card, Six of Pentacles. Wow, the Moon card, the Eight of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. All right, Cancer. If you've been dealing with a situation where you feel like there's been a lot of imbalance or a lot of uncertainty, that's no longer going to be the case. For a lot of you guys, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Libra. Uh, for others of you, you could be dealing with an Aries, an Aquarius, uh, Pisces energy here. What they're showing me is a situation that you currently graduated from Cancer. So what comes to mind is karmic cycles. A lot of the times when we're dealing with people that we just cannot explain for the life of us, why we have such difficulty like moving on from them and we have a tendency of like going back to them like ping pong, it's because usually those are the, the relationships that are extremely toxic are usually karmic. And those karmic relationships have a lot to do with a lesson that we must master in this lifetime, which is if you're being treated poorly, love yourself enough to walk away from that. Now, lessons are not a one way street, meaning that maybe the person that is toxic was also needing to learn a lesson of what it is to be loved unconditionally. Do you get what I'm saying? But I feel like for a lot of you guys, you have served this connection and you're choosing yourself. For others of you, you were dealing with the toxic situation where perhaps you guys fell into like fuck with buddy type of situation where they only wanted to see you at night. They only wanted to be physical with you. They didn't want to give you the commitment, whatever that situation is, especially those of you guys that were dealing with someone that just like a booty call basically 
I feel like they are realizing that they actually do have feelings for you, Cancer, and they're coming back around trying to give you a commitment. They're trying to make it official or they're trying to take it to the next level to see where it can go because they do see potential in this connection. Now, this is not to be dealing with people from the past. I'm talking about if you're currently in a situation where it's only physical, there's no officiality to it or there's no commitment there, but you've been hoping that something would come from that, I do see it happening in the month of August. Now, if you are dealing with someone from the past where, like I said, you're dealing with the karmic where you go back with each other, then break up, go back with each other, then break up and that type of scenario, I feel like you've graduated that situation and this time around you're choosing your happiness. So for those of you guys that are currently dealing with someone new, and the person that wasn't giving you no type of commitment is coming back around and wanting to give you that commitment because now they see that you're taken or that you're dealing with someone else. Choose yourself, Cancer. Choose yourself or choose this new connection because that's the one that's going to bring you the higher elevated commitment. The person from the, ta uh, from the past or the karmic is no longer and should no longer be in your path. You should have outgrown this probably two years ago. So... Again, be mindful of that. If you are in fact dealing with that situation, do not be a silly goose and think that this time they changed and jeopardize the new connection because you're being aligned. You're stepping into your power, Cancer, but also it's the universe bringing to you the blessings that you've been hoping and wanting. For a lot of you guys, I do see a higher elevation of commitment here. For some of you guys, I see engagement. For others of you, I see marriage by the end of this year. But you're going to have to learn to choose yourself. If it's between you and a toxic connection or if it's between you and a toxic situation where now they're willing to step up and you're dealing with someone new, do not jeopardize that. Choose the new person. Give yourself the opportunity to find your happiness elsewhere because you will get exactly what you want based on what you settle for. So the theme here, Cancer, is do not settle, my loves. You're going to get it. You're going to get exactly what you want, but you have to know that you deserve it. All right. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. Like, share, and comment. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. You guys stay tuned for the podcast. We have tons of new podcast episodes as well as tons of readings and spell work that's coming through for you guys. I want to wish you guys the best. And until then, bye.